Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Well, we had CPI data released today. I was hoping for a little bit of action. I think we were all hoping for a little bit of action. Tomorrow is Friday again and then it's boring weekend again. So I'm not really sure how much action we're going to see before the weekend. Sometimes, sometimes a Friday is really interesting and sometimes we get a bit of a sell off or move on Friday just before the weekend and then the weekend is rather consolidation. So let's see if we can wrap this entire wave two up tomorrow. For me, the leading wave count is still the white one in which we would either go down directly or make a move up and then come down. For me to establish if there is short term upside potential still in this B wave before we come down in wave C, by the way, that is the white wave count here, yeah. Um, is the $29,000 level. So as long as we are holding $29,000, it is possible in this B wave to go higher. If we break below $29,000, then the B wave has topped with a high likelihood and we're coming down more directly in wave C. To be honest, for the wave two, it would be better if the B wave is a little bit stronger because then the C wave down has more space. We don't. We certainly don't want the C wave to come down too low in our support area to risk invalidation. So we want to avoid that. Therefore, a higher B wave would be preferred when we talk about um, bullishness. Okay, bullishness generally and the likelihood of this yellow setup or the yellow trend reversal area holding. Now, at the moment, as I said, the twenty nine thousand dollar level is the threshold here. That's the seventy eight point six. Fibonacci retracement level of this move that started on Monday, peaked here on Wednesday. And as long as that level is holding, we could be dealing with an ABC structure here to finish off this move. And yeah, and below 29K, you know that it's a 78.6 FIB level. It will, mo it will most likely, nothing is guaranteed in these markets, but most likely go down directly. So for me, the white wave count is still the leading one. We can give the yellow wave count a chance, but we won't know if the yellow white or the white one is going to work out until we see a break below 29K. Yeah, um, so this would provide us clarity. If price breaks below that level, we have clarity that it's not the yellow count. We are not in a breakout and the yellow count is not the preferred scenario at the moment. Anyway, I will only believe it as soon as it has produced five waves up. So far, we are far away from that. And um, yeah, why is that the case? Because the, the, the bottoming structure here is just not very clear. It's a bit of an unclear bottoming structure. And therefore, I am not so happy about the situation that Bitcoin um, has bottomed. Yeah, again, I can't confirm it anyway. I need to see the five waves up. The bottoming structure here looked much better. That was in June. Um, and here also, I, all the, this looks similar. What we have now looks similar to this here. Yeah. Double bottom rarely holds. I often say that these bloody double bottoms, they rarely hold here as well. They don't. They are more reliable or they hold better if the second low is lower than the first one. Yeah. Here again, yeah, similar situation didn't hold, right? It needs that final um, final dip. And here also, I remember that we talked about it all the time. The idea, you know, it, it's going to go lower. It's going to go lower because it just had not produced that bottoming structure. Here it did then, but it went very quickly. So still waiting here, still patient. And I'm still looking at lower here, ideally in the primary scenario. Again, I can't rule out short term upside before we come down. And if we get short term upside and it's forming a higher low afterwards and a higher high, well, then we've got our five waves up and then I'm happy to confirm that price bottomed indeed in a wave two in our trend reversal area. This wave two would then have bottomed here. But at the moment, I just don't have enough evidence to confirm that. And because we are not biased here and we don't just want to confirm something because we hope it will you know, be like that, that would be a bit... Um, yeah, pointless here yeah and uh, it's a recipe for failure we want to see proof first so the situation largely hasn't changed hopefully tomorrow we see a little bit more action i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye